Uh, the props are on point. I'm was loving that. that. <laughs> was that did, they, nothing, did we scare you? Nothing wakes you up like a cup of coffee and a scary movie. Yeah, my heart is already fluttering. <laughs> the Brew Coffee is a horror-themed coffee shop with specialty bunny drinks, movie trivia nights, and a store with merch from all the Fright Flick classics. Now, the minds, the evil minds behind the <laughs> brew, did Jason and Nick join us with a whole lot more. Thank you both for being with us. Of course, thanks. thanks. Okay, all right, this is uh, this is really <laughs> fascinating to me. So horror films and then coffee. You're like, let's bring them together. <laughs> I have never heard of this before. Uh, well, I don't think we invented it. There, yeah. are, there are some other spots out there. around the country, but. You like uh, adrenaline, obviously. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Like yeah. a thrill, like yeah. a thrill. Okay, so what happens at the shop? Um, well, I mean, I think when we were first talking about it as an idea, uh, especially with some of our family that may not be into this kind of stuff, <laughs> um, there was definitely an image that I think most people kind of conjured up. Yeah. And, and the shop, uh, I feel like we tried really hard to kind of make it really palatable to people that may not be into yes. this kind of stuff. People that watch movies like this. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm so, always like, oh, uh, no. It's much more, of a, much more of a general celebration we're, of the like art a, of horror. Like a PG-13, PG oh, kind of vibe. Okay, yeah, like R-rated vibe. I mean, you talk about a niche, though, and you guys have found it. You're in it, and there's themed drinks. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have a, a whole series of themed drinks. There's a couple, I guess, that are on stage with you. Okay. We have uh, the tendril here is a matcha, lemonade, lavender drink, so it's called the Tendril's this Tea. This is the Tendril? This is the Tendril, yes. And this is a creature in a horror movie. He's a horror-adjacent comic book character <laughs> okay, cartoon. Yeah, okay. And this is the drink you guys have created yes. to go with Yes, him. this yes. makes total sense. That. That's the Looks Tendril's Tea. It's matcha, lav lavender, good. lemonade. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you're going to have a little matcha, oh. just, you know. That is delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when have, you, yeah, keep going. going. I'm go sorry. We also have the fire starter, which is a, a coming back drink, which mm. has been, well, I'll let Nick spill the rest of this. Yeah. 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 The, let's see. This guy right That here. one's the Skull Island. The most, oh, This okay. is a kind of a King Kong reference, banana mocha. Um, that everyone's been been pretty happy with. Mm. Hot or iced. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That tastes like dessert. I, I taste <laughs> the banana. Very nice. That uh -huh. feels like dessert. Uh -huh. Okay, that's really uh -huh. nice. Sure. And then what's the third one? The last one is is actually mm. our first signature drink we ever came up with was a partnership with an old um, syrup company, local brand, um, that unfortunately went out of, uh, had uh -huh. to shut down for uh, various reasons. Ooh. Various reasons. Okay. That but uh, up Joe here. Snow Syrups, oh, incredible I love, I love stuff. Yeah. 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 Melissa was awesome. Yeah. And she came up with this uh, mm -hmm. drink for us, or this flavor syrup that's for the fire starter that's an ancho chili and a tangerine it. extract. So Ooh. it's yeah. uh, in reference to the band Tangerine Dream that did the music for the original Firestarter movie. Mm -hmm. um, incredible. And we've actually now, in the absence, people were very disappointed they've missed it for, for, for about a year more yeah. than a year um, and we've teamed up with our friends at Pinata Chicago uh, who kind of specialize in some hot sauce and I thought they might be the ones that could help right. us develop the syrup okay. again so yeah. I, oh, perfect. I totally get this now okay you have a convergence <laughs> of, of, of the great minds you know those that are nerdy about drinks because yeah. you can see this is not your average you know coffee drinks and then on top of that that are passionate about films like exactly. horror films so like Jason how do you curate like what you're gonna show on one of these movie nights and things uh, like that? yeah we just kind of uh, you know good staff pulling us we also have a movie club thing you can sign up on our website you can uh, send some suggestions there but we just kind of pick our favorite films and uh, try to tie in a drink or something to go along with that a food product and uh, we go from there like we have and a I I think you have a good connection too because you and your wife own Brick a Brack Records. That's yes. right. So you guys can do the records, Blu rays. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like a whole convergence of all of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I think we actually, you know, my wife and I obviously for over 10 years have run this record store, very entrenched in, in physical media, yeah. collecting things in general. Um, but I think people are, are, I hope, really getting uh, a sense of how important physical media is. And mm -hmm. in the streaming age, you know, stuff can get pulled off a platform at any time, um, whether it be a movie or a record on Spotify. Yeah. Like you're not in charge, you're not in control of of what you consume on a streaming basis. So if you have a physical copy, that's yours. I love that. Um, so that's yeah. The Brood has a, a pretty deep selection of Blu-rays, 
Um, and then Brickerback, yeah. of course. Don't throw away those Blu-ray players. I mean, yeah, exactly. people are yeah. into collecting them. Yeah. And then, of course, Record Day is coming up. That's yes. a big day. Can you yeah. tell us about that? Sure. This Saturday uh, is Record Store Day, uh, annual celebration intended to help prop up independent record stores. Um, and now with the coffee shop that's attached to our store, it's that much more convenient to yeah. show up early, grab a cup of coffee, get, uh, in. get in line before we open. Uh, the brood's gonna open an hour earlier yeah. than usual on Saturdays. We'll open at 7 a.m. Uh, and Bricker Brack's gonna open at 8 a.m. Awesome. For all the special yeah. releases. I don't think I I'm love gonna, it. not gonna go to sleep tonight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like give me more. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here, guys. For yeah. more information, for you us. can head to thebroodcoffee.com, find them on Instagram, they're on TikTok, at The Brood Chicago. There's After Hours on the 25th, too, with DJ Major Taylor Galactic Bangers. Lots of stuff coming up. Find it all on the website there.